Welcome to the Daily App Show iPad Edition. My name is Jared. Today we're going to take a look at Route for Me for iPad. Now, if you are a subscriber to our podcast, you probably have seen the Route for Me for iPhone that we demoed about a week ago. Now, this is the iPad version, which of course is going to work best on a 3G model. Of course, it's not going to work too well on a Wi-Fi model because when you're driving around, you need an internet connection, of course, some sort of connection for the GPS and everything to work. Now, I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and just like with the iPhone or the iPod Touch, you can use Wi-Fi to get kind of a general coordinates location as to where you're at. But of course, 3G works the best, and having a device with the 3G uh, enabled is the recommended device that you use for this application. So... If you want this app, I suggest you have a 3G device. So very easy to plan routes here to multiple locations. In the iPhone, of course, you can plan a route from A to B, but what if you want to go from B to C and D to E and so forth and so on? It's not very easy to do that. So I have a route that I kind of set up in here. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all these destinations. I'm going to delete all these destinations. So it's very easy to create a new route. I am in the destinations tab right here down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and hit plus and I can type in anything that I want right here. Any address. I can grab one from my address book and then also add it to favorites if I would like. I'm going to go ahead and add my current location here. So I've added my current location which is my departure address. Now I'm going to go ahead and add another uh, location. I'm going to add uh, Santa Cruz. So Santa Cruz and then I'll put in California just for the heck of it and I'll hit save. So I could plan my route and use this as an uh, A to B location and get my route for that or I can say okay after Santa Cruz we're actually going to head down the coast a little bit and we're going to go to Monterey. So I'm entering Monterey, California and so I've got Monterey, and then we're going to drive down to, um, let's see, we're going to go down to Los Angeles. So I've got quite a distance here that I've entered in. This is kind of a tour of Central and Southern California. So I've got my locations set. I can hit Plan Route. It goes ahead and does all of the work finding my trip information and it's going to load it right in. It says that my route has now been optimized so I can go and view that route by directions. We've got my directions for the first trip to Santa Cruz and then from Santa Cruz to Monterey and then from Monterey down to Los Angeles and then from Los Angeles back to where I started. It gives me the mile details over here. Very nice. I can even switch it to walking if I was walking, but not this kind of distance. I'm driving. So I can go back to destinations, and on any of these, I can tap on this arrow here and get and change my information if I needed to. Very easy to do that. In this tab over here, I can edit my destination's order. So let's say, for example, I was going to just go to Los Angeles first, and then Monterey, and then Santa Cruz. Now I've reordered those, and I can plan my route, and it's going to go ahead and change that up. Very easy to do. Think about the footwork that you'd have to do, or the finger work that you'd have to do on the iPhone, or the, the standard Maps application on the iPad to get that done. It would be a lot more work than just simply dragging those around. So of course I can add to my routes very easily. I can disable round trip which means that the very last item that it's going to show is going to be the trip back home. But I like it enabled because you know you're going to have to come back home sooner or later even though you may not want to. So round trip works out really well. So of course up here we have our satellite and hybrid view just like we would get in the maps. We can tap between our locations here. So you can see I went to Santa Cruz, my next one, then down to Monterey, and then Los Angeles. 
And I could tap in the middle right here and that would go out and get my coordinates to where my location is right now and take me back home. So now I am back home in Modesto. So now I can also look at recents because perhaps I have some recent locations that I've been to and I want to go ahead and load those in quickly. I can just tap on those and it will load them up. Any of those favorite items, those favorite destinations or locations that I saved would show up here or I can add them really easily right here and then simply add to route uh, the current route that I have loaded. Very easy. And then I can favorite my routes as well. So this setup that I have right here, if I like this, I can go ahead and favorite it and remember this. Let's add to my routes. I go over to my routes and now I have that route here as well. Some simple about information. They make it easy for you to provide some feedback and ask questions. So if you have any, you can, of course, get at them through the application. So a very cool application to use. You can also type in an address up here to get easy access to it as well. Um, this application just makes it so easy for you to plan routes and get to the locations that you need to get to. And being that we have it now on the iPad, it's great for that passenger your navigator that always gets you lost. No excuses now with this application on your iPad. If you have a 3G iPad, I think you're going to love Route For Me. Definitely get it today. Check it out in the App Store.